Ah, and here you are already. What are you even doing here? I thought you couldn't get in. Wouldn't the forest keep you out and everything? I am so confused. I am a keeper with access to powers your king has long forgotten. Ah. I was never barred from this place. I don't like this one. Same. Can we not simply crush its head? Maybe. There was no way to tell what would happen once you reached this ruin, so I decided to come myself. Okay, well, you're a little too late. There you go. How about that? Just a little too late. You wanted to make sure I got the heart. I didn't get the heart yet because there's a whole bunch of other stuff that needs to be talked about first. So. So you wish to play games? I can sense you do not have it. Why are you leaving the ruin? To come and find you. If you knew about this ruin, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you give me all this information ahead of time? Why are you so shady? All I want to know is the truth to all of this. But that, I guess, it can be held off for a minute or two because the Lady of the Forest requests your presence and I would not keep her waiting. Oh, is that what the spirit calls herself now? And what does she want with me, if I might inquire? Uh, she won't summon Witherfang unless you're there and break the curse. So, you either want Witherfang summoned and you break the curse or nothing happens. That That's literally all of your options right now. You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of thought as much, but I was just going to kind of go along with it until somebody actually told me and confirmed it just because I didn't want to say that and have the whole room look at me because that happens far too often. She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible, serene and savage, maiden and beast. She is the lady and Witherfang both, two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. The curse came from you, though. Isn't this curse kind of a reflection on you more than them in some ways? They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. Uh, listen. The werewolves have regained their mind. They're not what you think they are. I think we should be having conversations with them and not just slaying them and taking their hearts out of their bodies because that that that's gross, first of all. Second of all, that, you know, they have minds. Let's talk to them. Even so... They are still the same worthless creatures that their ancestors were. They deserve nothing more than the misery they possess. This is not your battle, Grey Warden. Let us just take the heart and be done with it. Why won't you at least consider talking to them? Why is even just entertaining a conversation to try to figure this all out? Why is that completely off the table? Why? You claim they have regained their minds, but they are still savage beasts. Their nature is unchanged. All they want is revenge, or a release that I will not give them. No, let us take the heart and end it. Do you still have this much hatred after all this time? Have you not learned the art of letting it go? It's actually a lot healthier for you too. I promise you, if you learn to let it go, you'll feel a lot better at the end of the day. You were not there. You did not see what, what, what they did to my son, to my daughter, and so many others. You are Elven. You know what it is like to have injustice thrown in your face. Their crimes could not go unanswered. Yeah, I know what it's like to have injustice thrown in my face. I know what that's like, 100%. But I've also learned to not let it define me and dictate the course of my life, which is the big difference between you and I. See me? I've learned to just let it go. Deal with it as I need to at the moment and then not dwell on it and then go live my life because otherwise I turn into you and I don't want that. I like me. Not, you know, no offense or anything like that. Just, you're... <sighs> your own people are suffering now as well as them. This is both sets of people are suffering. Won't you be the leader that you promised that you were and help not just your people but them as well? 
I have sworn to protect my people, and I shall. I will not lift a finger to help the descendants of savages who deserved the curse they received. You are so stubborn. So what, is your answer to let them suffer forever? Is that fair? To anybody? Tell me, if you held your own daughter's lifeless body in your arms, would you not also have sworn an eternity of pain on those who did such to her? No. No, I wouldn't have, because that would have dishonored her memory. Because doing something like that, in, in honor of and in memory of somebody that I loved, and somebody that was so young and, and just had their whole life ahead of them, kind of thing, no, 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 that would have tarnished them, who they were, what their, their memories that I had with them were, what they could have been as, you know, they progressed through life. No, I wouldn't have done the same at all. Never. Very well. You wish me to go and talk? I will do so. But what if it is only more revenge they wish? Will you safeguard me from harm? Yeah, I'll safeguard you from harm, unless you attack first. If they attack you first, and they don't want to talk or anything like that, of course, I'll step in and protect you. But if you attack them first, all bets are off. I fail to see the purpose behind this, but... Very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. So here you are, spirit. <sighs> she is the lady of the forest. You will address her properly. You've taken a name, spirit? And you've given names to your pets? These beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian. And the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages. Worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit, as is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? Uh, he said he'd summoned you and bound you to a wolf. Is that not, in fact, what had happened? You know, honestly, now that I think about it, I think he did say a few more words, but I don't know how much I understood it, but all I heard was like, spirit, bound to a wolf, done. And so he did. With a fang and I are bound as one being, but such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. What? Your people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian, but that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No, that is not how it is. So Zathrian's death would end the curse, would it? Is that, is that what I'm hearing? No. The curse has a life of its own. Okay. Though Zathrian's life depends on it. His death plays a part in its ending, however. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! You see? We must kill them all! See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way. It sounds like everybody is having a case of, you know, hot-headedness, and maybe we should all just take two steps back and discuss this. You have to end this curse, Zathrian. You have to. They can't keep living like this, and your people can't keep living a lie. 
by doing what you've done, by doing it the way that you did, you forced your people to be accomplices in this lie. That's not fair. That's actually awful. And the curse, Zathrian. We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. Okay, good. I was hoping we'd start fighting. Oh no. Oh, he froze the wolves. Okay, everyone. Nice and steady. Okay, listen, if we could all just not, okay. Tree down. How's everybody doing? I'm gonna go for Zathrian. This is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. <gasps> he froze me! Alistair! Help! As you say, Kill him! I shall do it. Hopefully that should help a few other things. Oh no. Okay. Did are, are you taunting no, no him? More. I I cannot cannot defeat you. Finish it! Kill him now! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, somebody, please kill somebody. In a minute. No, Swift Runner. We will not kill him. We won't? If there is no room in our hearts for mercy, how may we expect there to be room in his? Good point. I cannot do as you ask, Spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I cannot do it. Hasn't this gone on long enough, Zathrian? My heart does hurt for you and what happened to your children and your people and what you had to go through. But that was centuries and centuries ago. You can't keep living this way. You can't keep forcing your people to keep living this way. You can't keep punishing them for this. It's time to move on. It's time to grieve properly and to accept what's happened and to find ways to come together and make sure it doesn't happen again. Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. It has consumed my soul. What of you, spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, Maker, put an end to me. We beg you, show mercy. You shame me, spirit. I am an old man, alive long past his time. Then you will do it? You will end the curse? Yes, I think it is time. Let us, let us put an end to it all. It's over. She's gone, and we're human. I can scarcely believe it. Yeah, uh, wow. That, all of that was something. 
Like, really. Uh, we should definitely make sure we find you guys all some clothes soon. But what are you going to do now? We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? No, I do. Thank you. We will never forget you. You're welcome. Good luck. So we did it. We saved everybody, right? Yay. <sighs> also, also that was, that was something. That was a whole lot of somethings. I am a little uncomfortable with, no, I guess I shouldn't say uncomfortable because I'm not. Like, I think that this was for the best. I just wish we had gotten a few more answers throughout all of this. Like, how exactly did Zathrian use his blood to make the curse and everything? Like, I have a good idea, but I guess being a non-mage, like, I have some ideas, but I guess I would have liked the nitty gritty of it. Does that make sense? Probably not. I probably don't need it. We should go back, tell the Dalish camp what happened, and hope that whoever the new leader is decides to help us fight the blight because that would be really helpful like really helpful otherwise we literally made this whole trip to solve a curse which i guess isn't a bad thing like yay we solved the curse but the whole point of coming here was to get help for the blight and if we don't have help for the blight i don't know if we can fight it i mean we can but it'll be difficult should we go back it is done the essence of the wolf's heart has banished all traces of cursed blood from the hunters it is too bad that Zathrian had to die. I... I felt it when he departed. I think he was ready to go. Yeah, I agree. I think he was ready at the end. I think he was very, very ready. It will be difficult to fill Zathrian's shoes. He was our keeper for many centuries, and he will be sorely missed. But I am keeper now. Let me say it officially, then. I hereby swear to uphold the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grey Wardens. Call, and we shall come, with great speed and purpose, and we shall strike at your foes. This I swear. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. That is... Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I was a little worried, but that was 100% a relief. Listen, about filling Zathrian's shoes... You don't have to do that. You don't ever, ever have to fill his shoes. You just have to be you and just do the best job that you can as Keeper. I definitely wouldn't suggest trying to fill his shoes, to be honest. I highly suggest just carving out your own path, being you, and I think that that'll work out perfectly. It has been a long time since the Dalish march to war, but I trust that in the end, we shall make a difference for you. You will. You absolutely will. Shall we go? Oh, we've got some stuff to drop off. It was nice seeing you again. Thank you. We are working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. I have great news. I found some iron bark for you. Truly? Yeah. Let me see. Yes, that is indeed iron bark and a substantial quantity of it as well. Well done. Thank you. An agreement is an agreement. And I will craft something from this wood for you. What would you like? A bow? Or perhaps a breastplate? Hmm. Uh, you know, neither. Your clan needs it more than I do. I'm good. I have all the equipment I could need. Everybody else does too. I appreciate your generosity, though. I must admit I'm surprised to witness such generosity from an outsider. You have my thanks, and the thanks of my clan for this gift. I will not allow your generosity to go without at least some reward. Come, I shall make something of the wood you bring. I've reformed the wood to my will. It is but a small token of our gratitude, but take it with my blessing. Thank you very much for the gift. I appreciate it. All right, then we have to do this. We do. It'll be fine. This is gonna hurt. You have returned. I have. Is there any chance you have news of Denala? I do. I am, um, I'm sorry. I, I do. You have news? Yeah. Have you found her? Are, are you certain? She gave me her scarf uh, for you before she passed away. That is her scarf. 
Where did you find her? What's become of her? She was a werewolf. I, like you had suspected, but she couldn't live with it. So. So I was right. But what became of her? She didn't make it, Athras. Uh, however, before she ended up passing away, she wanted to make sure that you knew how much she loved you. And, and that was at the utmost importance to her before she died. She told you that? Yes. Yes. That is what she would do. Then it is over. I should be thankful, I think. At least she is at peace now. You have been most kind, my friend. I'm sorry. Now I should go and make arrangements. I must mourn my wife as is proper. Dareth Shiral, fare you well. This part of our job is awful. It's not even technically part of our job. It's still awful, though. I still hate it more than anything. <sighs> my poor man. That's not fair. But at least he has closure now and he won't be wandering the forest by himself looking for her. Is there anything else we need to do before we can go and relax and set up camp and stuff? I don't know. Maybe? Possibly. Do you know? Why are you smiling like that? You look suspiciously like the cat that swallowed the pigeon. A pigeon? Mary. What? I look like the cat that swallowed the canary. I once had a very large cat, but not my point. My point is, why are you smirking? <laughs> you were watching her with great interest, I might add. Who? In fact, I believe you were enraptured. She's our leader. I look to her for guidance. Me? Oh, I see. So what guidance did you find in those swaying hips, hmm? No, no, no. I wasn't looking at, you know, her hind quarters. My what? Certainly. I... I gazed, glanced in that direction, maybe. But I wasn't staring. Or really seeing anything, even. Of course. I hate you. You're a bad person. Okay. That's enough of talking about my hips swaying and Alistair staring at my hindquarters. As flattering as that is, though. Because, yeah, listen. Just, you know, that's awkward. 